Hey everyone, and welcome back. So, in today's video we're doing what if every major moon orbited Mars. So, as you can see right here, I have every major moon, which they all have their own colors. There's also this Nomia and Sharon, they're both here. Uh, these two are moons of dwarf plants, so this Nomia is a moon of Eris, and Sharon is a moon of Pluto. But I would say they're, they're large enough, so I'll add them into this mix. Eris' moon is a lime, Pluto's moon, purple, uh, Uranus moon, light blue, Saturn, yellow, Jupiter, orange, their moon is just a pink, and also Neptune's moon, Neptune's moons are a dark blue, which there's only two of them, so. You can see also Phobos and Deimos are both here, so let's get started. I slow down time a little bit so everything just doesn't happen at once, as we can see right away. Looks like Proteus now moon of Io, or no. No, of Callisto, and Oberon's now a moon of Europa. Mars isn't very large, so so some of these moons are probably going to escape. Dione's a moon of Ganymede now. Rhea's a moon of Titan now. I didn't realize I put Triton this close to Mars. That probably isn't very good for Phobos or Deimos. I want to speed everything up, but I don't want to miss any collisions, which... I think Oberon's gonna be the first to go. Or no, Sharon, Sharon. Yeah, there goes Sharon to Callisto. Oberon does survive. Just kinda sideswiped Europa. Oh, well, uh, eh, these two are still here. Asnomia escaped. Are Titania and Oberon in a binary? Oh, well, no, Titania's gonna go to Europa. No, Europa and Callisto are in a binary. Oh, oh! Oh, there goes Ganymede. So Titan is now the biggest one here. Which... Is Titan larger than Mars? Wait. Titan's larger than Mars. This may end a lot faster than I first thought. Something collided with Mars, I have no idea what collided with it. Demos is, well, Demos is gonna go to Mars. Well, there goes Demos. Phobos isn't here anymore. I feel like Ios is kind of chilling. Tethys is here. Not, I don't know how, how large something just got there in a short little, little amount of time. It's almost the size of Earth, which I think it's not gonna do anything else now. Cause it's already gotten away from the mayhem. Oh, I didn't realize Io is also very large compared to Mars. Uh, I was the same size though. Thought, well, well, that, well, there was Tethys probably. Goodbye, Tethys. Tethys is gone now. Ioni's hanging around still. And whatever this is happening. Europa and Callisto? Look at Callisto. Is that water or? No, it isn't water, it's just a terrain. Wait. I've never seen this before on the side. I have no idea what that does. Yeah, look at Dione, it's an ocean world now, holy. You can see its atmosphere. It's cool. What's the like likelihood of life on Dione? It's kind of similar to Earth. Or is still glowing hot? I, I see a crater here. Yeah, right here, is that Phobos? Yo, Oberon's here too. Yeah, but a whole bunch of these moons like Ariel, Triton, uh, Dysnomia, Umbriel, Callisto, I think Europa's there too, Excellus, Miranda, and Titan. Which Triton is a planet, and I think Callisto and Europa would be a planet also. But the rest of them, oh, and Titan, but the rest of them will probably be dwarf planets. But Exceladus? Never mind, Exceladus is an asteroid. What does that make Miranda then? An asteroid too? Yep. Alright, speed up time. I'm gonna speed up time and wait for something to happen, and when something happens, I'll cut back. Alright, well, eventually, uh, Oberon and Dione would eventually get ejected, and uh, Io would be the only only moon left. I think Io was tightly locked with Mars. No, it was not tightly locked, alright? Although it kind of looked like it was. Well, that'll be done in this video. Um, if you have any other ideas, 
uh, suggestions you want me to do. I have already lots of them, and I'm happy about that because I won't run out of ideas. And like I said, if you do give me an idea, it may take me a while to get to it because there's other ideas that people want me to do, and I don't want to just leave them in the shadows, pretty much. But yeah. Also, thank you for uh, 400 subscribers. Uh, this has probably the, been the best months, uh, month on YouTube. Because there was a time where I wasn't, I didn't upload for eight months, which was like a month ago now. I just started posting again. And in this month, I've done very, very, very well, which I'm glad to see that. So yeah, um, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.